Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we uncover a troubling shift unfolding in the waters around Antarctica, as researchers warn that the Southern Ocean is accumulating dangerous levels of heat that could erupt suddenly in a powerful thermal burp. And the scale of that warning becomes clearer when we look at what the Southern Ocean has been quietly absorbing. For decades, the Southern Ocean, which wraps around Antarctica, has absorbed extraordinary amounts of excess warming, over 90% of the planet's heat, and a quarter of human-generated CO2. Scientists now warn that this vast reservoir may not remain contained. New modeling published in AGU Advances suggests the ocean could abruptly release the stored warmth in what researchers describe as a climatic burp, triggering a renewed rise in global temperatures even after humanity succeeds in cutting emissions. Such a release could keep warming alive for more than a hundred years and emerge only after global cooling has begun. According to Daily Galaxy, the model shows that this heat release would not unfold gradually. Instead, after several centuries of net negative emissions, during which carbon is removed from the atmosphere and global temperatures steadily fall, the Southern Ocean could suddenly overturn, sending long buried heat to the surface. The resulting warming would be comparable to rates driven by human activity today. The mechanism behind this potential surge lies in the ocean structure. As described by the study and reported by Fizz.org, the Southern Ocean becomes colder and saltier at the surface as new sea ice forms. The freezing process rejects salt into surrounding waters, making the surface layer denser. Warm water, however, remains trapped at depth. Over time, this imbalance destabilizes the water column. Fizit Org, quoting Svenja Frey of the Guillaumar Helmholtz Center, wrote, At some point, the water column becomes unstable, and that's when we have the deep convection event, effectively allowing the deep heat to rise rapidly. The study finds that the resulting warming pulse would be strongest and longest lasting in the Southern Hemisphere, particularly affecting countries in the Global South. While some CO2 may also be released, Daily Galaxy notes that the primary impact is thermal, not chemical. The scenario remains a projection, not a certainty. Yet scientists view it as a crucial insight into long-term climate behavior. Climate researcher Kirsten Zickfeld, according to Fizz.org, emphasizes that Earth's response to net negative emissions is poorly understood and may involve surprises, including feedbacks like this one. Importantly, overall temperatures still fall in the model, just not smoothly. To be clear, in this scenario, Removing atmospheric carbon significantly reduces global temperatures, even factoring in the burp. And the faster we move away from fossil fuels, the less CO2 we'll have to remove down the line, says LiveScience.com. Rick Williams of the University of Liverpool emphasized that negative emissions remain beneficial, but argued that, rather than do negative emissions, it's better not to do the positive emissions in the first place, according to LiveScience.com. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.